Hello friends, this is Danny, and I am stopping by today with a real quick update on my craft fair. Um, I just didn't want you to be staring at nothing, so I grabbed some of the um, projects that were laying over there that I had used in the videos to create that weren't quite finished or whatever. So the craft fair was this last Saturday. It was from 9 to 3, and I can honestly say I had the best time. I really enjoyed meeting people, talking to people, um, showing off my creations. Um, my daughter and her fiance came and helped. My husband helped. And yeah, it was it was a really good time. I, yeah, I enjoyed it so much. Um, I have already signed up for the spring one. So March 15th, I will be doing this again. I had been calling this my learning craft fair and I did learn a lot. Um, <clears throat> I guess just I made myself some little notes. So I did exceed my goal. The booth cost around $75. And so my goal was $100 and I well exceeded that. So that was exciting. <clears throat> I sold out of the treat bags to one lady um, she was having a party and she wanted to give them out and I thought that was fabulous. So, and I didn't want those coming back with those candy in them. So I was excited about that. <clears throat> the treat boxes, I sold out of the Christmas ones. The Halloween ones did not sell. And then I had put that mermaid shaker one out there. I don't remember putting it in a bag. I remember a little girl really, really wanting it and her mom really, really saying no I don't know if it walked away. If it did, it's all good. It made her smile. That's, I could care less. Um, I did sell out. Um, let's see. I have one of these left in my collections. Um, it wasn't this one. It had the Velcro. These ones that pop up. All the rest of these sold out. I have three of these left. Um, I did sell quite a few. This was just the envelope with the um, little mini card in it. I have quite a few of those left, but I made like 51 of those. I'd say at least half of those are gone. Um, I did not sell any of the hand sanitizer holders, and I only sold maybe one or two of the post-it note holders, and I had only taken like four bookmarks because I just didn't have time to make more. I sold one of those. So it was... <clears throat> oh, and I... I had always been told that cards don't sell at craft fairs, so I went in with the expectation that I would not sell any of my cards. My cards sold. Like, I sold a lot of my cards, which just made me feel so good. So, going forward to the next craft fair in the spring, we are going to purchase a um, greeting card like tower display like you see in the stores those ones that like the twirly ones we're going to get one that goes on the floor that's probably what five six feet tall and then we're going to get one to put on the table since my cards did sell i had them in boxes and going through the boxes was kind of awkward so i'm hoping that will alleviate that problem i am also going to try to do some like little bags that have like um I don't know, I guess like a set, like a cof couple coffee cards, a couple coffee gift card holders, things of that nature, maybe like a baby one, a wedding one, things like that. I'm going to try that. I'm not going to take any of the post-it note holders in the spring. I might take them again in the fall. And I'm thinking I might make some Easter treat bags with the candy since they sold so well, but maybe not as many because I feel a lot of people already buy like the baskets or whatever already made so I'm not sure if they would want those so <clears throat> overall it was a fabulous experience I can't wait to do it again and I learned a lot um, my card sets I think I had them priced too high they did start selling once I dropped the price and I did make some deals but I think that that's kind of what it's all about um, I felt good about the deals that I made and for me, it's all about getting them out of boxes and getting those smiles to other people. So I'm not ultimately out to make all the money I can make. It was just something I had wanted to try. And I always said that once the kids were out of the house, that I wanted to try craft fairs. And 
now I had a chance to try it and I'm excited to try it again. Um, this craft fair is a rather large one. There was a lot of people. More in the morning, kind of died down in the afternoon. I was very thankful it was only 9 to 3. I don't think I would have sat there much longer because it there just wasn't the interest. But yeah, overall, I had a fabulous experience. I learned what things sold for me. Like I said, for you, if you try one, it might be a totally different thing. It all depends on, I think, the area, the people. Um, there was also only uh, two other people selling any paper crafts at this one. Maybe at one that you might do, there might be more, and that would affect it as well. So <clears throat> I think it's very subjective as to like your area, the time of year, what kind of products you have, etc. So that is my quick update on the craft fair. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I'm really tired and I'm still playing catch up. I feel like I got behind. I took a couple days off because that was a lot of peopling for this introvert. Um, but I'm super excited, like I said, for things to come. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, next month is November. And for the last two years in November, I do a tag a day. And I'm super excited. I love making the tags. They go together so quick and easy. And it's just so much fun. So I'm already thinking ahead to what I'm going to do with that. And I am just going to have fun. That's what this is all about, right? We want to do this and have some fun at it. So that's what I'm doing. So I will be doing the Tag A Day November. And then probably December, January, I will start working on things for the Spring Craft Fair. But it's not going to be like big projects per se. Like I want to do more baby cards. I want to do more wedding cards, graduation cards, maybe more religious cards, Easter cards, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all these cards that I typically in the past haven't done. So I'm really excited to kind of have fun and do new things. So that's what I have for you today. Sorry, it was kind of boring to look at, but there's my update. And I hope you have a absolute fabulous day. And until my next video, go do something for yourself and go get crafty. Bye-bye.